In this video, we're going to talk about importing references inside Cinema 4D to continue to create our 2D drawings and also later on, we're also going to create 3D objects and 3D modeling. So I want to show you here these files. Now, what you're seeing here is different types of references. Now, you can import in Cinema 4D AutoCAD files like DWG and DXF, you can import from BIM software, so BIM, like Revit or Archicad. You can import also from Illustrator, so you can insert directly an Adobe Illustrator format file. And the other option is to, well, these are the vector graphics software. And the other option is to import directly an image, which will be a plan view or a section view. And in this case, I want to show you something concerning the architecture and interior design, because in the previous video, we talked about graphic design and creating customized vector graphics and uh, logos and things like that. So I want to change and make other examples. But the tools that we saw in the previous video about 2D editing and drawing can be useful also in situation like this. So let's get started and I want to start with some vector graphics. So I'm going to file, merge project, go to one of my folders here where I have uh, Adobe Illustrator file stored. Now vector graphics you can import SVG which are scalable vector graphics or directly Adobe Illustrator. You just select the file and say open. Now, when you're working with graphic design, you don't really need a scale because you can always scale back and forward. And well, if unless you need to create a gadget or something that, for example, needs to be printed in 3D or a particular product in product design, you don't need the exact measure. You can just bring in the graphic design and figure out then what's, what's going to be the size. Now be careful always if the drawing that you are importing is in the plan view or in another view. So for example here I cannot see it but I can just see a line. Now this doesn't mean that I did something wrong with my import, importing but I just need to change the view here and there you go now these are you can see the file the vector graphics that I have just imported so make sure that you are in the correct view otherwise you won't see what you are importing now let's go back to the top view so when you work with graphic design you don't need too much about scale but when you work with architecture or prototyping or you need to create a particular product and you need the precise measures in that case you need to consider the importing in the correct scale in the correct size now to do that you need to know the source uh, of this file so if you're using a CAD references for example you need to know what units have been used in that particular drawing so I want to delete now everything here this is my plan so I want to show you how to insert it and these are guides uh, well actually these are measures that you can also see or not see so I'm gonna deactivate them and then we're gonna create new ones so I'm going to delete also this object here okay and let's go again to file merge and in this case I will import a CAD file. Now you can try with DWG, you can try with DXF, but usually DXF it's more compatible with all other software. So I'm gonna use directly the DXF file and open it. Now this is where things get a little bit complex. So if you don't know what the scale is, you need to guess it. Now usually if you're coming from AutoCAD, the standard units unless the author of that file have changed something will be millimeters. If you're importing from 
Revit uh, or AutoCAD, you should consider to import this in millimeters. Now, I am importing a file from SketchUp, which is another 2D and 3D CAD application, and you will also find videos and courses about these applications in the channel, so look for them. So I created this SketchUp file myself, and I know that I work in centimeters. So if I am the author, I know what the scale is, and I can directly set here the units and the scale. And also be careful to import to the elements. And there you go. Now let's check the objects panel, and you will see here that everything you will import as a vector graphic or CAD is going to be a series of splines. So I'm going to call this plan view and expand this null object. And inside you can see I can uh, I have a, a series of splines. So all these are all the lines which will be editable using the editing tools that we saw in previous video. So we, we, we have not seen here parametric, we only have editing. So I click on this with the selection tool and start to delete because these were like annotations in the SketchUp file with, the, with numbers, but I don't see numbers for the area. And so I'm gonna delete those because I don't need it right here. So I'm just gonna clean up the 2D and also this is another floor I guess so I, I don't need it here so I'm gonna select it like that and delete now be careful what you're selecting and deleting okay so the first thing I would do here is to make sure that I'm actually in the correct scale now how do I do that well if I have some annotation that's easier because I can just see that for example this room here it's four meters and then I can check that but if I don't have any clue I just need to figure out myself now usually the interior walls are 10 centimeters doors are usually between 75 and 90 centimeters and external wall usually are 30 centimeters so I can scale using these um, tips and hints now the measure and construction tool can be really handy here because I'm going to create some annotation to check if everything is okay. Now, let's check, for example, the thickness of this uh, wall here, interior wall. Now, be careful because the arrow sometimes goes crazy and you need to get it and place it where you need. Now, I'm also using the grid snap and the snap on so we saw how to do that in another lesson okay and this is 10 centimeters this is a good sign now I think that this is in scale but what if it wasn't now let me go back here if I want to deactivate the guide uh, sorry the measure I can click there you can also create a new measure here and delete measure if you want Okay, now let me just show you this. If, if I go here to edit and go to scale project, this is where I can rescale everything again. So we saw how we can use the project mode in the attributes or this scale project. Now, if I change and say, okay, my current scale is in centimeters, but I was wrong. Instead, it was millimeters. And this is gonna scale it and gonna make it 10 times smaller gonna scale everything okay and 